to eat them. Absolutely, and my husband is the one who has the sleep issues in our family, so there, there we go. go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dr. Trudy Pieper, thank you so much for being with us again. Thank you, my pleasure. All right, back to you. Well, thank you, Dancy. And now that we've learned about the health benefits of pumpkin seeds, it's time to learn how exactly we go about making those in this week's Lost Creek Rehabilitation Care Center's food segment. Joining me is our usuals, Jennifer and Andy. And <laughs> Good to know guys, usual. I've been excited for this one. Pumpkin seeds are one of my favorite. And so this is going to be a good fall recipe to explore. Looking I love forward pumpkin to it. seeds. We're going to get messy, right? That's right. We're going to start we actually with messy pumpkin? getting the seeds out of the pumpkins. And you can see we have one. Why, why do you have the massive <laughs> pumpkin? It's, this seems like it should be swapped here. We are going to start out by cutting open our pumpkins and getting those seeds out. So, as always, we have our knives. <laughs> this is making me This nervous. is very dangerous. <laughs> do not do this at home. So, many of you may have cut pumpkins before in your you life. Ready? Maybe you're a Am first timer. I'm but doing this one, right? I don't know. That doesn't look Whatever like Zach that. tells us. Go right good. ahead. I'm going to start from the top and cut open a cap. That's not a good knife. I'm going to snap it. Try this one. You know, this maybe was not the... We should have had them pre-cut. idea. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Now we should point out that there are, um, I think, literally a million pumpkin seed recipes out there today. You can find you know, it <laughs> on the internet, and it really just uh, involves a variety of seasonings and pumpkins. maybe sweet and spicy. So you if you have your open? own recipes, no. I've already um, finished. Feel free to send them in. Oh, look at that! Andy's already got his out. Hey, there's some seeds. There are some seeds in there. Jennifer, you need to finish your pumpkin here. I will finish this, and you can see there, there are some seeds right there, but go ahead and begin to get the seeds out, Andy. <laughs> there we go. How many seeds do you think My hand are? doesn't fit in there. I wasn't really thinking well. You know, I'm... Is... <laughs> so you just eat them, Zach? Yeah. No, you're not going to eat them. We don't need them yet. Okay. What we're going to do okay. is get as many seeds out as possible. Okay. So let's continue on maybe one more minute here to see how many you can get out. We actually have some prearranged <laughs> seeds. Just as a fail slippery. Yeah, isn't it incredible how many seeds are in one pumpkin? I'm always amazed at the way God creates things. Look at how many pumpkins you could get out of a seed like this. Hmm. So you're going to start a pumpkin patch? Hmm. Not a bad thing to do. Is that allowed in downtown Lima? I don't know. I don't know. We can't have chickens, no but chickens. maybe we can have pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how many seeds do you have there? 17. Well, that'll be a decent number. Or as my son Nathan would say, 10,632. All right, I think we'll, we'll look at here. Hey, look at that. Uh, I can reach into that one. Yep. Wow. All kinds of seeds wow. right there. Wow. Oh my, now the seeds from the larger pumpkin are, they bigger? are bigger than the seeds from the smaller pumpkin, which I guess would probably make sense. People at home <laughs> are thinking, well, yes, Jennifer, that's pretty obvious. <laughs> and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get as many, hopefully all of the seeds out of the pumpkin. Of course, you can carve, you can scrape, you can grind them out of there. Collect your seeds, just as you're doing there. And uh, what we're going to work with here, because what you want to do is actually put those seeds in a strainer and wash them off. Hmm. Um, we have a, a bowl here of washed seeds and dried seeds, because what you do after you have them in the strainer and wash them off, you're going to actually spread them out and pat them down in order to dry them off. Nope, so my hand. we'll move this out of the way and grab our dry seeds there, Andy, in the, in the bowl. Should we grab them with our pumpkin hands? Yeah. That's, I don't think we have too many cleaning products here on set. <laughs> but you're going to lay the pumpkin seeds out. Now hold on one moment. We don't have any parchment paper, I don't see. Oh. We, do. we do here, okay. That's the, that's the secret, isn't it? You're going to lay your parchment paper over your sheet before you spread these seeds out. What does the parchment paper do, Zach? Uh, prevents the seeds from sticking to the pan. <laughs> so. Andy, why don't you do that, and Jennifer, you're going to help me prepare the actual seasoning and glaze that will go over the seeds, okay? It's a glaze. Thanks. Yes. Today's recipe, that, and as I mentioned, there are a variety of recipes. Now, Andy, you do want to spread them out so that they Give are evenly spaced. But today's recipe is going to call for a variety of ingredients. One teaspoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of maple syrup. Sorry, I was hiding the dirt on the side of the pumpkin. That's right, an eighth teaspoon of cayenne okay, pepper. Okay, what is this again? Pumpkin... Yep, we're starting much, with the oil. How much olive oil? It's going to be one teaspoon. That looks like fancy olive oil over there. Is that from Italy? Napa Valley, perhaps? Now Meyer. we're going to do maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> how much maple syrup? This is going to be a uh, one tablespoon. 
Are they allowed to be touching the seeds? They can be if you have too many, but you just want to spread them out as much as possible. Okay. One I think you still spoon. have room to work with the uh, pan there. Uh, then there's going to be cayenne powder, which is an eighth teaspoon of that. Cayenne that makes it hot. Some kick. There's a little bit of spice in it. Hmm. That's pretty healthy though, right? Cayenne pepper. I think it's, you know, if you have a cold, <laughs> you can get rid of whatever's in your nose. And then we're doing sea salt here, a quarter teaspoon. Oh. And this is all going to be mixed in the bowl because what we will end up doing is spreading these over the seeds. And we're going to actually toss the seeds in the bowl along with the seasoning. Andy, it looks like you've got. I'm gonna roast it over the fire. <laughs> and the last roast ingredient it, right? here is we do much? have cracked pepper, and we're gonna put this. You can do about five turns or so, depending on how much pepper you want in your seasoning, into the bowl here. All right. So Jennifer, you have our mixture ready. We need to get him something to do. He's, yes. He's he's. So Andy, why don't you put the that seeds? That looks amazing. Put the seeds where? In here. Mm -hmm. You just do one <laughs> seed at a time. <laughs> Did you eat it? <laughs> you don't no. eat it yet, no. Ah, so we, okay. Actually, we, I think, oh, took one step too far. We could have put the seeds in the bowl first, tossed them around, and then spread them out oh. on the pan. So I okay. know that you worked hard there. <laughs> oh, no. Pants, right? All my efforts. <laughs> but just going to dump one. these in. And then just going to toss them around a little bit. Try to get them well covered on both sides. Hmm. Jennifer, you look like you've done this once or twice. No, you know, this is new for me, but I have been in the kitchen a few times in my <laughs> life. The seeds are chewy. Is that because we haven't cooked them yet? That is because we have not cooked them yet, yes. So, am I going to get sick? No. You, you know, the get a pumpkin growing inside you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that looks pretty that well look? coated. And so now, Andy, once again, you're going to spread them across. I, you I've did done it this so before, well. yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to let you do it a second time. And really, Gooey. this is a simple way to create a, a relatively healthy snack. Once you mix these and coat the seeds, you're only going to put them in the oven. Recommended around 17 to 20 minutes, but what we found is that maybe a little longer, somewhere around 25 to 27 minutes is going to get you a better result. Of course, you can test the seeds, see how dried out, how um, well baked they are. This is challenging. They stick together. They're sticky now, huh? Yeah. So can you make like chocolate chip cookie seeds? I have seen sweetened public pumpkin seeds. Chocolate chip cookie seeds? Is that what you ask? Yeah. I don't think the chocolate chip cookies grow from seeds. <coughs> got a, got a little pepper there. <laughs> a cayenne in the in the palate. They and smell good though. You can smell the maple syrup. And so um, we would have our, our oven preheated at 350 degrees, and that's where you're going to bake these for what we found to be around 25 to 27 minutes. You can maybe determine. No. Depends on your oven. So once we've thrown them in the oven, we will end up with a final product. Voila! Magical oven back here. And if you can see that at home. Those look very nice. They are Ooh. very nice. They're very tasty. They're exactly. much, they're Just darker. enough spice. Oh, There's they're a little bit of sweet from not the maple syrup. Less chewy. Mm, crunchy. Not quite, yep. They, what you want is that nice crunchy um, texture. So that's a good way to judge whether or not they've mm. been in the oven long enough is how um, crunchy they are. It reminds me of like the flavored popcorns that you can get, mm. the specialty popcorns. The glaze on the outside. Yeah. Right. Yep. And so again, a quick, easy, healthy snack. Something hmm. fun to do with the kids at home too. Maybe cut open your pumpkins that you have had from the fall decorations and pull out the seeds and create your own recipe. There's, <clears throat> there's a variety of you seasonings. You got some cayenne too, <laughs> I do have some <laughs> variety of things that you can cover these seeds in and really just it's fun to explore. So what do you guys think? I love it. <coughs> The Sorry, cayenne pepper I got the pepper in my hair. <laughs> I told you, we need milk every food segment, <laughs> every week. That's going to wrap it solution. up for us. Of course, you can find this recipe on our Faith and Friends website if you go to WTLW.com. And again, as always, submit your own recipes. We'd love to hear from you guys and your own experiences with pumpkin seeds. Trying to make the basket. Mark, what are you doing? take it away and show us how exactly the viewers can connect with us in social media.